Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about Jacoji as usual. But uh, recently I sent a ring in for repair and I just wanted to go over with uh, how fast he did that for me um, and um, just how professional he was about it. Um, I sent him an email a couple of weeks back letting him know, you know, um, I took uh, my diamond flat ring to the mall. I I bought it for this finger and I wanted to have it sized down to this finger. So I went from like a nine or a nine and a half down to a seven. So when I took it to the mall, this uh, jeweler, I guess they, they cut it on the bottom and then they, they, they heat it up and squeeze together and re-solder it. So when he did that, the diamonds weren't lined up right. And eventually one in the middle fell out. So, you know, all I did was I uh, took a couple pictures of it and um, I sent it to Jacoji and I and I just asked him, I said, um, you know, how much would you charge me to fix this? I, I was willing to pay for it and everything. Anyway, uh, I told him what happened. He said he would have been willing to size it for me. So anyway, that was on the 19th. On the 20th. Well, anyway, on the 19th, he responded and he sent me a, sh you know, he emailed me a shipping label uh, for FedEx, two day shipping and everything and a repair slip. And anyway, um, all I did was I went to Walgreens. Uh, they have a FedEx drop off there. I bought an envelope uh, like this big envelope, you know, and um, just basically taped the shipping label to it put the ring he did ask that I put it in its original box and stuff like that so I did but uh, anyway not only did the diamond come out of it overall the ring was beat up pretty bad I mean I scratched it up really bad I I wore it at the wrong times I shouldn't have so anyway um, I know you guys have seen this ring before but um, anyway uh, I was just kind of hoping that it came back nice and clean and everything and we'll see so all right so i this is the stuff i sent back with it i sent it back in its original box with its original card and it still says a nine right there so it is the original card but it should you know it's a seven now anyway um but the thing is is I did this, uh, I sent it out on the 20th, and today is the 5th of August. That was uh, pretty fast. Wow, guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's perfect again, so. Yeah. Fits perfect, everything nice about it. So it's nice and clean. Yeah, they polished it up, took all the scratches out of it. Yeah, it's the way you want it right there. And the, uh, the diamond flat ring goes really well with the, the flat curve bracelet. They're the, they're the same color gold, you know. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of open surface, uh, reflective. Um, the flat ring's really nice. I ordered another one just without the diamonds. Uh, it should be here soon. But uh, I ordered another one with my initials in it. So, and... I'll probably just wear that one all the time. I don't care if it gets beat up or whatever. And uh, also ordered a six millimeter Miami Cuban ring. And um, so those should be coming together pretty soon. So anyway, just a quick shout out to Jacoji. Um, you know, if you ever have a an item from him, like your chain breaks or whatever, I don't, I don't know if he can fix every chain. I know he's said in the past that rope chains are the hardest ones to repair. But, um, you know, he does do repairs. Um, he does take care of his customers, and he does it really well. So, but, yeah, this, this ring came out perfect. I mean, it's flawless. There's not any scratches, and uh, the diamonds are all in place. Everything is solid. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll keep this video short, um, and we'll see you next time.